If you're tired of grinding badges in NBA 2K22 Next or current gen, then be sure to hit up my boys over at Hero Grinders. Top links in the description. If you're struggling to shoot as a big man in NBA 2K22 Next Gen and you're looking for an absolutely money jump shot, then trust me, you're in the right place. But before we hop into things, what are you doing? Scroll down, press that big red subscribe button and like the video. Personally, I don't get why y'all haven't done this yet because y'all are missing out on some content that will help you guys out so much. For example, I just recently dropped the best jump shot for non-big men, so go check that out. But with that being said, let's hop right into the video. Alright, so this is the jump shot that I've been using so far. The jump shot I'm using is currently base 107, release 1 Dirk Nowitzki, and release 2 Rudy with max speed and 50-50 blending. Now that you guys do have the jump shot, if you want to click off, go ahead and do so, but draw me a like for not wasting any of your time. Not gonna lie, with the basis 2k has been giving us this year, shooting as a big man has been pretty tough. However, with a little bit of experimenting with different jump shots, I think I found the best one. I am able to create an extremely consistent consistently and extremely easily and i think that's 90 percent due to my jump shot this jump shot i think has a massive green window and it's also super easy to green with since it has a super easy cue the massive green window part we actually don't know yet how big the green window is since it hasn't been tested by 2k labs yet but trust me once they do test it and come out with the biggest green window jump shots for both big man and non-big man i'm gonna update you guys with my new jump shot however in 2k21 the jump shot i'm using in nba 2k22 had one of the biggest green windows in the entire game so it may be the same thing this year as well and from my experience with using this jump shot it probably does moving on to what is in my opinion the most important part of the jump shot and that is going to be the Q. Now, if you want to use this Q, make sure you're also using my upper releases. With this jump shot, your player brings the ball really far back and then brings the ball up and towards the basket. So the Q for this jump shot is going to be waiting until you see the ball begin to elevate above your player's head and then release square. Just to give you guys an idea of when I try to release square, I try to release it right here. The ping slash latency and the human delay will carry this otherwise early release into the green window and it'll be consistently green. For this reason, this jump shot is super good online in park since it takes into account the delay that there is in the park. One thing that I will say before the video ends is that it's more important to be comfortable with your jump shot than anything else. This jump shot is just a suggestion. I recommend you guys experiment with other jump shots and find what works best for you. Also, if you had any jump shots you like in NBA 2K21, then maybe revisit it since you'll know how it works very well. With that being said, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for the video. If you found the video helpful or enjoyed it, drop me a like and also subscribe so you can be notified next time I'm dropping some more gems on y'all. Go follow my Twitter and I'm out. Peace.